Hi guys, I'm Alden, a solutions engineer here at Dust. Uh, today we'll be looking at how to plug Zendesk uh, search, help center search into Dust, even if it's not an integration that we support right now. Um, for that, we'll be using Dust applications, uh, which will pull from the Zendesk API some results and will compile it into an LLM. So let's see, this is a help center that I created just for the demo. Um, we've got a few example articles, one of them being how to find a specific star in Stellar Skyonomy. So Stellar Skyonomy is a fake company uh, that basically is letting us search for stars. So we can search for a star, we can search for similar stars compared to another one, search by distance, and we've got some tips. Um, we can have another uh, article as well about refunds and how uh, to do if I don't like the Stellar Skyonomy product. So let's see if Dust is able to retrieve some information from there. Um, we'll be using an assistant that I created called Lab Zendesker. And so let's see if it can retrieve some information. So let's ask him, how can I find the distance between two stars? What we see here is that it's generating a query string called distance between two stars, and then it's executing the app demo Zendesk search. So that's the app I created to be able to pull from Zendesk. So that app right now is querying Zendesk and uh, feeding them to an LLM. So right now we've got the answer. We see that we had two records from Zendesk. We can open them and see what's happening. That's the actual article. Um, and now it's just telling us how to do. Open the Stellar Sky Enemy interface, select the cell cell body of interest, navigate to the option nearby star or search by distance, etc. etc. And we also have the actual reference to the article here. So if I click on it, then I actually arrive on Zendesk. Um, if I say I don't like Stellar Sky Onomy, how do I get a refund? We'll see if it can find the other article um, and, and answer us correctly. So we can see that the query string is refund stellar sky on me. And we'll wait a few seconds to get the answer. All right, so it got a few records again. We can see how to get a refund. So merchandise refunds, subscription cancellation, requesting a refund, et cetera, et cetera. For more detailed information, click here and we arrive on the refund uh, Zendesk Help Center. So how did we do that? Well, it's fairly simple. So basically we went into developer tools and created an app called Zendesk Search, um, which is taking an input, which is the user input, um, and creating a Zendesk Search on top of it. So basically it's just calling the API uh, using the, the right credentials uh, and the query string directly in the search. Uh, in the search query. Then we're extracting the answer of Zendesk. Um, so we get a title, a body, and a link for each article. Then we enter this and each article gets summarized by GPT-4. Um, so after that, we extract the summary of the article. We loop through all of this. Um, I'm passing pretty fast because it's not the goal to understand exactly how the app uh, is coded right now. Uh, I will give you a way to duplicate the app at the end of the video if you guys want to do it. Um, but the goal is just to see the different blocks and how they work. And after we got all the summaries of all the articles, then we prompt the LLM to tell us exactly its answer about the question. Um, so we've got the final uh, answer um, available as a prompt. So we just we just prompt GPT-4 again, get the final answer and serve it to the user. That's pretty much it. So as I said, uh, you'll be able to duplicate the application if you want to. This is something we can we can make for you. And the good thing is that this works for Zendesk, but it works for basically any API that you want to plug in it. Um, it's just searching in any type of API, pulling all the content bubbling it exactly the way you want and serving it to your user. That's how this app works. Um, you can contact us if you have any other questions. Thank you, guys.